Hello and welcome to Art with Anna. Today we are learning about an abstract artist who incorporates a lot of lines and architecture into her artwork. Also a fun fact, she's from Michigan, so kind of cool. Um, let's find our materials, get those out, and we'll get started learning more about her. You will need a white sheet of paper, some colored paper, a ruler, tape, scissors, glue, and a pencil. All right, we will be talking about Julie Maritou. She is an artist actually born in Ethiopia, um, but did come to America quite young, and specifically um, Lansing, Michigan. So right here in our home state at our capital. Um, and she did live there until um, she was in her late 20s and then moved to New York in 1999. She's been there since making art. So kind of cool history of her. Um, she is most known for mixing kind of architectural lines and um, shapes with things that are more abstract. And a lot of her themes are about um, revolutions, um, history of colonialism, but also um, just kind of like the city of New York, the United States in general, and um, she represents those in more of an abstract way. So let's get our, our white sheet of paper, our ruler, and our pencil, and we will start making some lines that kind of mimic some architecture. All right, looking at our white sheet of paper and having our pencil out, we are going to pick two points on our piece of paper that are gonna be kind of focal points. So I'm gonna choose here and here. So you can see those two dots. Um, from there, we are going to take our ruler and we're gonna make lines from our dots to the corners of the sheet of paper. So this is like a focal point now, and we're showing a little bit of perspective and depth this way. I'm gonna do the same for this other dot. So you should have some pretty structured lines here. And this is often how Julie Mary to um, makes her art. She usually, not usually, but sometimes starts out with um, some pretty architectural lines. Now, another thing you can add to this is maybe just pick a few lines that you want to add a parallel line to. So another line that runs right next to your lines. So I've got some parallel lines there. Maybe I'll add a third one in here. That just goes from that line out. So we've got that. I'll probably add, you know, I'm just gonna add a random straight line down here and a parallel line to that. All right, so we've got some structural lines here. Um, Julie will often say that she uses a lot of art architecture in her paintings. Um, Actually, we can look at one of her paintings here. So you can actually see like windows and doors, um, but she likes to add to things that are abstract to it. So that you don't just have something that's totally logical, because art isn't totally logical. She likes to add other things that make it not just logical. So as you can see in this painting here, she does have a lot of lines in the background. Um, and the thing that you probably most notice though is actually the colored shapes. So we're just gonna take our colored sheets of paper and cut out random shapes. Um, some can be geometric, some can be really organic. We're just gonna cut out a lot. Some can be really, really small, some can be really, really big. And part of her process is taking these shapes 
and kind of taping them down in different areas, she always has a thought in her mind of what shape she wants, but never has a great plan until she's actually making the art of where it should go. So she plays a lot with like moving them around and figuring out what she likes. So we are gonna do that next. Let's cut out some shapes. So we've got our shapes here. I have not decided where I yet want them. These are just the shapes I decided that I liked and the colors that I liked that I picked out. So I have some shapes here. Um, and the next step, which is one that is um, pretty common for Julie, is that she will take these shapes and she will put them right onto the canvas, but in a temporary way, like just with tape where she can move them around. So I'll stick this down with some tape kind of like this giant shape around here. And she doesn't always use the positive space of the shape, meaning the full shape. Sometimes she'll use negative space. And what I mean by that is if I put down this red shape, I tape that down, we now have a new shape in this white area here. And that white area shape, it's kind of like a Reminds me of a dinosaur claw shape um, right here. That's now the negative space, and we've made a shape with negative space. So you can do that by taking um, areas where you cut out a shape and just cut out around again. And you can have this negative space here be your new shape. So positive and negative space shapes are what she uses. But yeah, she takes some time to just tape down in different areas the shapes where you think that you want them. And then if you change your mind and you realize that you want to move them to another spot, you can do that before gluing them down. All right, so now that you have your shapes maybe taped down, you played around with them a little bit and decided where you wanted your shapes to go, um, you can go ahead and glue them down where they are. So that'll be the next step is just to grab out your glue and we will glue down all of our shapes and keep them exactly where they are now that we're happy with them. Um, Julia talks a lot about just kind of knowing when your painting or your picture is done, just having it express kind of the emotions or the feelings that you're hoping to have it express. Um, we are gonna add just a few more lines. So she, her first step in some of her paintings is to draw lines, and then her second step is to move shapes around and find a good spot for them. Once we do that, we're gluing them down, as I said. And then after that, we're gonna find one more point to make um, a dot on so we can you guys can join me here. I'm going to make a dot right there, and then we're going to make straight lines that come out kind of like a star. That'll be our next step. Lastly, in Julia's most recent works, she actually has been working with being a little more abstract and a little more um, deviant from the kind of literal um, architectural elements that she used to put in. So she is doing a lot more smudging with her with her um, with her artwork. So we are going to take our pencil and make some really deep. There's a lot of pencil lead to make some kind of deep marks. Just a few in a few areas. 
And then we are going to take our finger and we are really going to just smudge it up. Just like that. All right, and there we have it. We have our Julia Mertu um, piece of artwork right here. So I hope you enjoyed making some art and um, learning along with me.